Hey everyone, Steven here, and today I'm looking at the QMag Dual Charger Stand from Momax, which has a clear cover on it to showcase the charging and magnetic components. This is geared towards iPhones with the MagSafe feature only, so iPhones 12 to the 14 only here. Looking at the specs, this has two magnetic charging points with a single output at 15 watts, or you can run both at 7.5 watts each. The input ranges from 5 volt at 3 amps to 9 and 12 volts at 3 amps. It's recommended you use a 20 watt or higher power block to get the full 15 watt charging, and this doesn't come with a wall charger, so keep that in mind. This weighs 256 grams and is constructed of aluminum and plastic, which feels very sturdy. Inside the box, you have the charging stand, USB-C to USB-C cable that is one meter in length, and the instruction manual with warranty card. For the physical features, you have the clear covering over the magnets and charging components, which I personally really like the look of. There is a light on the front to let you know when this is charging, and this is all one piece, so nothing can really collapse to make it easier to travel with. It's actually just this set piece, but it also means, though, that this is very durable. The top charging pad is adjustable, plus or minus 20 degrees, so you can tilt this back or forwards 20 degrees, and the magnets here are very strong, and it's actually strong enough that if you put your phone on it, and I have the iPhone 14 Pro, you can actually still adjust this just by pushing on the phone to adjust it that 20 degrees back or forwards. This being specifically designed for Apple products, if you have an Android, you're not going to want to get this. With that being said, this will not charge the Apple Watch, but you can charge not only your phone, but the AirPods as long as it has that wireless charging. So I have the AirPod Pro 2s and these work great. I just set it on the bottom and it actually charges there, but it's strong enough with the magnet that I can actually put it on the top part as well and it'll hold to that also. For the phone, you have the option of doing this vertical or horizontal on the top charging pad. And this is nice because I imagine some people are going to have this on their desk or nightstand and watch content. And so this actually allows you to watch this at the angle, depending on your need in the moment, instead of trying to fix this in such a way that you're like tilting your head, it actually is just going to rotate to the position that you need it. So I do like that. For the bottom charging pad, the only thing I have noticed with the iPhones, or at least for the 14 Pro Max, is you're going to want to make sure that you find the sweet spot for the phone to actually charge, because depending on the camera size and the position, you actually have to get this just centered right for it to actually charge. Otherwise, it's just sitting there and it's not hitting that magnet and the charging pad exactly where it needs to be. So you may think you're charging it, but you're actually not. Now, I don't know how often I personally would use the bottom charging pad for my phone as it seems just better suited for the AirPods, but it's something that I wanted you to be aware of. I think this is a really good product if you have an iPhone. I like the aesthetics here a lot, and they have other products such as car chargers and power banks that are actually designed for MagSafe with the same aesthetic, and I just think that's just a cool look for the product. It is unique. This feels very sturdy, and I like how secure my phone feels when attached via the magnets. So you can actually adjust, like I mentioned, the tilt feature with this just by pushing on your phone. So again, it does have a very strong connection, and I kind of actually grab the bottom and then push at the top when I want to peel this off. Otherwise, it's strong enough that you could lift up the whole stand with your phone, which is pretty crazy. Now, Momax seems to be playing it kind of safe here with the 15 watts. It's playing more towards the common wattage that you could actually charge an iPhone. Now, I have an iPhone 14 Pro Max, and that actually tops out at 27 max watts for charging from what I've read. So it doesn't quite hit that mark, but it still feels decent here. Again, they're just kind of playing towards the middle of the road that you would see with iPhones across the board. With this, just testing it, it does decent with wireless charging. So in about 10 minutes, I got four to 6% battery on average. And if I actually push that to a half hour, I actually got about 15% of battery, which is on par with the other wireless chargers that I have in the house. To me, these are really, you're gonna set it there for a while when it comes to iPhones in general with any wireless charger. So this is gonna actually go on my nightstand where I can just set this on there. And then it's gonna have a full eight hours to actually charge. Now the price here is $39.99. I think that is a solid price point. This is usually what I see with a lot of the 
MagSafe style chargers that you're going to have, especially when you're getting two different charging spots for this, where you could charge your AirPods on one side, and then you could actually still charge your phone at the, the same time. The thing I think this is missing is you just can't charge the Apple Watch here. So if you could do that, I think it would be the perfect package because then you have your three points. And that may have just been a design choice. They didn't want to actually try to incorporate the charging pad for the Apple Watch. And I'm wondering how just aesthetically they would try to actually even put that on this. But it is missing that. I think if it had it, it would be the perfect package here or at least a USB-C port so that you could actually just run the Apple Watch cable off of that perhaps. So hopefully down the road we do see those and the brand seems mainly geared towards Apple products and the iPhones. So I definitely think that is something that we will potentially see here very soon. And they have other products that actually do incorporate charging for the watch that are portable power banks. And then they even have some that are just portable chargers for just the watch, which are really cool on their main website. So not on the Amazon listings, you do see that they have Qi chargers for Android devices, but it definitely seems like they are geared more towards Apple in general as a brand. Now, outside of being able to charge your Apple Watch with this, the only two things I would potentially change here are more color options down the road as the dark gray that you get with this, that's the only option you have right now. And then the ability to rotate the vertical pole that holds the top charger. And then you could just lock that into place. So you can rotate it vertically or horizontally, but if you could actually rotate that pole as well, it would just be great for different options. If you're going to be again, sitting at your desk, or if you're lying in bed and you wanted to rotate this and shift it towards the direction versus just moving the whole stand here. Outside of that, I think what Momax has done with this product is really good. You have the durability, you have the really cool aesthetics, and then this having the MagSafe in it just being so sturdy when you actually put your phone on this. These are all things I like to see. And so that's actually gonna wrap this video up. This gets a big thumbs up from me. If you have any questions about this, let me know in the comment section and I'll be sure to answer that for you there. I'll have a link for this in the description if you wanna pick it up. If you liked the video, hit the like button for me as it helps the channel out. If you wanna to continue to follow along with all my content, hit the subscribe button for me. And as always, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.